Elon Musk versus Mark Zuckerberg. I ain't gonna lie. I was, I was jacking Elon Musk. I, I was like, man, he got it up until he did this Twitter shit. He started doing this rate limit exceeded stuff. And I'm a phone addict. So I'm scrolling through Twitter. I can't see no more tweets no more. So I got Mark Zuckerberg. He's beating the fuck out of <laughs> me. Nah, he is though. He is. He's, He's smoking. He knows like Muay Thai or some Wait, shit. Wait, before we. No, pick- Elon Musk is fucking up Mark you Zuckerberg. Don't think that. You don't. No, you don't. Bro, Elon it's Musk a weight like thing. A Mark laundry. Zuckerberg is 5'5, five, five, 130 pounds. You don't. Elon Musk five, five. is 6'4. I don't think that. You don't. Think Elon that. Musk is 6'4, 250 pounds. I don't think Elon Musk is 6'4, first of all. He is. I don't I stood next to him in an elevator he's like this. Me and, me and Elon Musk in an elevator. Yeah, no, he, he's, he's literally built like two sacks of laundry powder. like a sack of cottage cheese. He's not doing. Like Elon Musk bad. is literally has alien dad strength. He's from the Mark out of this Zuckerberg planet. is like a robot NPC. He looks like uh 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 Arnold Schwarzenegger. Mark Zuckerberg is five five. Elon Musk is six but four. But he knows how yeah, to foil board. board. <laughs> he's active. Yeah, Elon he's doing. Musk he's he's he he did jujitsu for three months and won a little tournament. Cool. What nah, you fucking I got, do? I got Zuck. Apparently, okay, I had, I had, apparently I had, I had, paid I had, the referees to win the tournament. No. See, but how tall is he? Five seven, going crazy. Active. One fifty four. No, Elon's taller than 6'1". 380. No, he's 6'1". You can't just say that he's, he's not. He's 6'4". I oh stood next God. to him. Mark Zuckerberg is built like a volleyball playing bitch. I stood next to him. There's a picture of Elon Musk and I together. Okay, but height doesn't mean everything. Right, and you're 5'8", and act like you're 6'2". Let's tell the people about that. Damn! About how you're 5'8 in real life. He's huh? five, Jake Paul is 5'8 in real life. People really think that. They meet me and they're like, Dude, you're tall. I was like, what the fuck did you Tall-land think, you fucking you'll see idiot? <laughs> the idiot they've never met you. They don't know. Yeah, but it's tall. so stupid. Like, how do you not understand, like, length and dimension? I think that's why people have a problem parking, too, because they don't understand, like, space and see, shit. These are the things people are fucking idiots. Yeah, bro. we should get into like, it. But- it's like people, who, like, I can look at someone and tell them exactly <laughs> um, how much they weigh, God, and I'm amazing at parking. Like, I don't get three it. Three hours. People about are so stupid. About this. Hey, um, I, before we pass this Elon and Zuck shit, I, if you dial back how the fuck this, first of all, do you think that this is gonna happen? Really, do you really think they're gonna fight? Well, I think it very well could happen and I have a $100 million offer for Elon Musk and Mark Zuckerberg Mm. to take this fight to the Middle East, to promote it, to put it on for charity. Uh, We can guarantee that money, $100 million to charity. Uh, we want to get involved and help make this a reality. And, you know, it's funny because Dana White is sitting there talking about, I don't do gimmick fights. I only do real fights. The best of the best. Talking shit about me. Mm. And then all of a sudden, like, wants to jump on this train so badly and making it go into the UFC. Um, so, th- to me, that it's just, like, ironic. Yeah, I mean, this is, this is, like, the biggest thing ever. Yeah, it'll be the biggest sporting event ever. And that's why I think there should be, like, people who want the sport to be better and not just like greedy people like Dana White to get involved because it's going to benefit the UFC. I think if Elon Musk and Mark Zuckerberg are true about their word, doing it for charity and doing it for a bigger cause than just, you know, for show and getting the most amount of eyeballs as possible, but actually like helping the world, I don't think he should partner with someone who's a piece of shit like Dana White. I have a hot take about this. If this happens, if, big if, but if this fucking fight happens, Joe Weller is responsible for it. And that's the truth. This fight- That's not true at all. No, it is. This fight would have never fucking happened if this influencer boxing shit didn't get as big as it is. If, If you and KSI and your brother didn't take this whole thing to the next level, this, that, it wouldn't have happened. This is happening because of the fact that influencer and celebrity boxing has gotten super fucking popular in the past four years. This whole fucking thing started with Joe Weller. Yeah, I'm not saying it he made it what it is, but shit. it started with him. It, it, it did. If you really dial it fucking back, it started with Joe Weller. In what way though? Like he invented the sport of boxing? No, I'm not, <laughs> listen, listen, I'm not. No, because like, because some famous people started boxing. People were doing celebrity boxing matches way before Joe Weller. I'm not saying that Joe Weller deserves like charity boxing in it. matches. I'm not no, no, no. I know, but 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 your point is off. People have always done celebrity boxing but, matches but, for like decades. Shaq versus Oscar De La Hoya. Like it goes back and back and back. I'm not way saying, before just that. Just like all inspiration and art can be dialed back to somebody. Just like all people we call original artists were inspired by somebody. I'm not neglecting the fact that I didn't, I'm not saying that Joe Weller invented celebrity boxing, but I'm saying this new emergence, which has been the biggest emergence of celebrity boxing started in recent times with Joe Weller. He re-sparked 
the, the flame for celebrity boxing. I'm not saying he fucking invented it, but he, he's the one who, who struck the lighter that has become this huge flame that now has turned into Mark fucking Zuckerberg and Zuckerberg, Zuckerberg. 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 and Elon Musk fighting. I could be off, but I really fucking think that like, if you dial, I don't think he's like responsible for celebrity boxing, but he, he reignited yeah. this flame that has become Oppenheimer. That. It's just crazy. If I was him, I'd be kind of pissed if I found out that, that Mark and, and Elon are fighting now. Like that, Man, I'd be like, fuck Damn. that broke ass he at home eating Cheerios. It don't matter. You carry the torch. I'm not fucking saying like give him equity. I'm just saying it's, it's just kind of crazy. He's sitting at home somewhere, wherever he lives, being like, wow, this thing that I reignited turned into two of the richest people in the world now potentially boxing. That's, it's fucking insane. Yeah, when he has nothing to show for it. Yeah, like George Foreman. You, got, you guys are missing my that point. that little funky ass mini grill. I just think it's an interesting thing. I don't no, think- No, it, it is interesting, but it's like, it's an interesting point. Yeah. And that's all it is, I guess. Right, I'm not saying he fucking, yeah. it, it should be but more But it's also kind of sad, and, and it's maybe something actually to, to expand further into that idea of like how many things in life have been started or, or set off by someone who's like no longer involved and like missed the wave entirely. Sure, sure. Actually more often from what I've seen in my sh short amount of business experience, but at a pretty high level, it's been better to be the buccaneer, mm -hmm. which is the second coming in second versus being the pioneer. The pioneers maybe get a lot of credit. They come in first. But they have to figure out everything. They make all the mistakes. They take the heat for shit. They, they have to get the kinks out of the system. And then the Buccaneers come in, take the idea, but don't make any of the mistakes. Mm -hmm. And I can trace that back to like even my YouTube career, but it's super interesting because a lot of times it's better to be the Buccaneer. And that's kind of what we've done with better. Interestingly enough is we've learned from all the mistakes of these gambling companies, what they're doing wrong, spending way too much on advertising, overpaying for licenses. And we've come in, learned from all of their mistakes and have avoided so many big things and have excelled in areas like advertising where we're spending basically no money, but are a much bigger, pop, more popular brand than like someone like Caesars or whatever who spent billions of dollars on marketing. So from my point of view in business, it's better to been, have been the buccaneer. Yeah. yeah. Download better. Yeah, download better.